In this and subsequent videos, we are going to look at the options available in the 3D Viewport's main menu. The main menu has four headings, View, Select, Add, and Object. Many of the entries we'll find under these headings initiate options we've already used since they can be accessed from other places in the Blender interface or through keyboard shortcuts. As we encounter familiar options, we'll simply comment on their purpose and refer you to the past videos that cover them in more detail. Other entries involve topics we have yet to cover, and we'll skip past those with little or no comment. In this video, we'll be looking at the options under the View heading. For the most part, its entries involve displaying or hiding various panels and other elements in the 3D viewport. The first five entries are checkbox menu entries. Toolbar toggles the display of the toolbar. We can also do this by pressing T. Sidebar toggles the display of the sidebar. Alternatively, press the N key. When we select a tool from the toolbar, most of its parameters appear in an area just below the main menu. This is known as the Tools setting area. In this example, we can see the fields associated with the Add Cube tool. Tool Settings toggles the display of the parameters in this area. Asset Shelf relates to previously designed models that can be imported into the current scene. These are called assets. We'll cover this in a later video. Adjust Last Operation controls the visibility of the last op panel in the bottom left of the 3D viewport. Frame Selected adjusts the zoom factor so that the selected object or objects almost fill the 3D viewport. Frame All adjusts the zoom factor to include all objects in the scene. This can also be achieved using the Home key. Perspective Orthographic toggles between perspective and orthographic view and can also be achieved by pressing 5 on the numpad. Local View is used to display only selected objects. All other objects do not appear in the viewport. The entry has two options in its sub-menu. Toggle Local View switches Local View on or off. This option can also be performed using the forward slash symbol on the numpad. Remove from Local View is only available when in Local View and is used to remove selected existing items from Local View. The keyboard shortcut for this is Alt and the numpad's forward slash. Viewer Node refers to a topic covered in a later video. Cameras controls the views we see in the 3D viewport and which camera, assuming we've added more, can be treated as the active camera. Cameras will be covered in a separate video, so we'll skip this for now. Viewpoint offers us another way of selecting a named viewpoint or switching to camera view. Again, this has been covered in a previous video. Navigation offers options we've seen in other videos. Align View has a submenu with the following options. Align View to Active aligns the viewport camera along a local axis of the active object. Which axis and in which direction is determined by yet a further submenu. Although the submenu names the view using terms we've come across before, such as front, right, and top, these refer to a view along an object's local axis, while where we met these names in the past, they referred to views along the world axis. Note that there are keyboard shortcuts that use the same keys as the world axis view, but with the addition of the shift key. Align Active Camera to View aligns the render camera to give the same view as shown in the 3D viewport. Align Active Camera to Selected aligns the render camera to fill the frame with the selected objects. The view in the 3D viewport is unaffected.
center cursor and frame all adjusts the zoom factor of the viewport camera to include all objects in the scene. It also moves the 3D cursor back to the world origin. The render camera is unaffected. Center view to cursor adjusts the 3D viewport's view so that it is centered on the 3D cursor. The zoom factor is unaffected. View lock to active tracks the viewport view to the active object. If we move the active object, the viewpoint will change to follow it. This action does not terminate when the object is no longer the active object. The moment we return to that object, tracking will continue. View lock clear disables the view locking to the active object. View regions has a sub-menu offering the following. Clipping region operates only in solid shading mode. It allows us to adjust the area where the objects of our scene are visible. When this option is selected, broken lines appear allowing us to define the area where Blender will continue to display the 3D scene. Of course, the area we define in the 3D viewport actually represents a volume in our 3D space. Outside this area, no objects will appear. If the volume cuts through an object, then only the part of that object inside the volume will appear. The keyboard shortcut for this option is Alt-B. Pressing the same combination a second time, or choosing the option again in the menu, will return the 3D viewport to a full display. The purpose of this option is to reduce the demands made on the processor and to reduce the visual complexity of a busy scene. To activate the next option in the View Regions submenu, viewport shading must be in rendered mode and using the cycle's render engine. Render region, like clipping region, allows us to define a space within the 3D viewport. This is another option designed to reduce the load on slower computers. We can also enable the effect using the keyboard shortcut, Control b To toggle the current clipping area on and off, we can use the Render Region checkbox on the View page of the sidebar. If we use this option when using the Render Camera view, only the selected area will be rendered in the final image. Other parts of the image will be transparent. This effect can be controlled using the Render Region checkbox on the Output page of the Properties Editor. To reduce the size of the final render image to the selected region only so that there is no transparent area, check Crop to Render Region. To switch this option off, we need to press Ctrl-Alt-B or select Clear Render Region from the menu. Play Animation plays through the frames of an animated scene as seen in the 3D viewport. Pressing the spacebar performs the same function. The animation is played using the 3D viewport's current viewport shading setting. We'll be covering animations in a later video. Viewport Render Image creates a rendered image matching the viewpoint and render engine used in the 3D viewport. When the viewport shading is set to solid, it's the workbench render engine that is used. Material Preview uses the EV engine, and Rendered can use either EV or Cycles, depending on the setting in the Render Engine field in the Properties Editor's Render page. Viewport Render Animation is similar to the viewport render image in as much as it uses the 3D viewport's current viewpoint and render engine. But this option is used when we are producing an animation rather than a static image. Viewport render keyframes, this option renders only the keyframes of an animation. Animation keyframes are frames defined by the user, other frames are calculated by Blender, more on this in a later video.
The options in Area allow us to adjust the 3D viewport area in various ways. We've seen most of these before in previous videos. Toggle Quad View splits the 3D viewport into four independent areas. Three of these show the current scene from named viewpoints. These are Top, Front, and Right. The final viewpoint is the user viewpoint that was in use immediately before the screen was divided. This operation can also be activated using the keyboard combination Control-Alt-Q. Returning to the single view requires the same key combination or menu option. Horizontal split creates a horizontal line which can be dragged to any position. Once the left mouse button is pressed, the viewport splits into two horizontally. Vertical split creates a movable vertical line and clicking splits the viewport vertically. To merge split areas, right click the mouse over the split line and select Join Areas, dragging the mouse pointer into the area to be removed. Toggle Maximum Area expands the 3D viewport, removing all the other editors. The keyboard shortcut is Control Spacebar. Choose the menu or keyboard option a second time to return to the normal layout. Toggle Full Screen Area expands the 3D viewport to an even greater extent than the previous option, removing the header area and the toolbar. Use Control Alt Spacebar as a shortcut and select one of the options again to return to the standard screen. Duplicate Area into New Window duplicates the view in the 3D viewport into a separate window. The new window is fully operational, so any changes we make here will be reflected in the original screen. Close Area closes the 3D viewport editor and expands the remaining areas to fill the available space.